about 30 co comedians, and I'm a big comedy fan. So me and these guys, they were all these men and women, they were all so sincere and cool and genuine. Uh, that was a lot of fun. I didn't uh, gain it immediately. Um, I just started, I moved to, I live in LA, but I moved to Tribeca, and I would just go to his house every day with my camera and hit record and say, all right, you're going to talk to me. And eventually he started to open up and yes. trusted me. And I think he knows my name. I'm not sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 No. No. He he never told me what to do or how to do it. He actually just watched it about a few weeks ago for the first time. Um, but you know, there were things in his life and career that we knew we had to put in there. But we started editing while I was shooting, so there was always some new reveal. So the story changed a lot before we finished because something new would always come up. No. How was that? Like just getting shit to talk first. I think you just started out with dirty jokes and pop culture. Like every I, when I would shoot with him, I would start every conversation with some weird pop culture thing. Like he loves uh, he loves like paparazzi and scandal and stuff like that. So I would kick it off with that and warm him up, and then say, okay, tell me about your mom. <laughs> so kind of backdoor.